Your private life is so, so hidden, so out of reach from the masses, from the public. I mean, wh who you are outside of the business, what you are outside of the business, it's, it's a high level of unknown, mm -hmm. you know? It's really what you choose to allow people to see. How have you, how have you managed to control that narrative in a, in a way where it's honestly just in your favor. Like, and even in times today mm. where it can sway, where people right. can dig, it's never been a question. And there's only a few. There's only a few that actually have done that. You are one of the few. I, I honestly think it's a mix of uh, me trying to protect it and be mm -hmm. really careful about what I do and where I go and, and people not giving a shit. It's that, <laughs> and people don't care. What do you mean people don't I care? I mean, you know, I, I've had paparazzi follow me, and then, they, and then they're like, you're not, you're not going to do nothing? I'm like, I'm at the store. I'm yeah. going to buy some eggs, yeah. and I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to get some broccoli. They're like, this, that's, that's it. it. That's, that's, that's it. it. That's they don't care. Else. It's not exciting. I'm not, there's nothing out there to really, like, watch. I'm really a dude from the Midwest who came from a family with two parents and, a, you know, a dog and a very kind of basic, boring shit. There's not a whole lot. And I kind of created that with my life. I have a wife, my kids are grown now. We, okay. So I'm not out there in the streets to be a part of a lot of stuff that people would want to know a lot of stuff. And I also think as an actor, it kind of helps to be less known mm -hmm. because then I think it's easier for people to believe you in the roles you're in because they're not like, Oh no, that's that dude that that. They're like, I don't really know who that dude is. He's a cipher a little bit. You know what's crazy? It, I don't even want to say it's kind of an old school uh, way of thinking mm. because it, it's true, right? It, what you just said is, is so true and it makes sense. And I've heard the Denzels of the world say it. I've heard the Samuel L. Jacksons of the world say it. You know, I hear you now saying it, that less is more from what you give to the public. Uh, do you feel like the changes that have come with the times today, uh, is, it, is it better, in your opinion, for the younger generations of actors and actresses that are coming up, that are allowed and able to give so much more right. to their fan base? Do you like that side of it, or do you not like it? I don't, I mean, well, now it's like it's almost required. Like, mm -hmm. like they're, they cast people off of, if they have Instagram followers, what their following is or not. You know, they, that gives them an edge over another actor in a mm -hmm. role. So that's something that's completely brand new to me. And that they're expected to participate in that in a way that's not just like, like we do a press junket. Mm -hmm. It's not that, it's like, oh, you need to post this. You need to make sure you get on this on Instagram. You need to tweet this out. So there's a huge public facing, you know, part of actors' personas that had nothing to do with anything that when we came up. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. we are a part of it too. And we're asked to do the same things and take it back. But we're already established at this point. So for people just coming up, like I had a, a, a kid asking me today, like, what do I do? How do I start? I'm trying to get out there. I was like, I have no idea. Because wow. we used to audition for people. Yeah. We'd go in a room. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I wasn't in those rooms with you, but I'm pretty sure you knew how to win the room. Absolutely. So I would know how to win the room. That was, that was a part of the audition. That was, the audi that was for me, the audition. Mm -hmm. And I'd win the room and then I'd be like, oh yeah, now let's do these words. And by the time you did the words, they were already, they were already into you. So they're trying to figure out a reason to say yes as opposed to an excuse to say no. And now when they look at tape, it's the exact opposite. It's a, it's they're trying to completely. exclude people. Yeah. So when people, at, when young actors say, what do I do to start? I'm like, dude, I, really, I have no idea. I really couldn't tell you. You said you're from the, the Midwest. Where are you from now? Uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. Outskirts or in a city? What? City. The city. Uh, mom, dad, you said, yep. and a dog. No brothers, no sisters? Yep, brother and sister. Really? I'm a middle kid. Younger brother, older sister. Uh, are they cooler than, than you? I think yeah. most people would say that. I would, I would believe it. Yeah, I mean, it's not hard to imagine, right? I'm not saying it in a, in a negative no, no, way, no, but no. I can definitely I get see... It. I, get I can it. definitely see them just being a... Yeah, I get it. A cooler... I mean, I'm wearing a vest. <laughs> they gotta be cooler than me, right? I wasn't gonna say it. Right? Oh, well done. Right, Kevin? That's aggressive. I know what you're what doing. What do you mean? It's aggressive. I know what you're doing. Because I lean forward? Yeah. My back hurts. Yeah. <laughs> You've done this before. OK. I'm just going to say, let's well, calm you, down. There's an old friend. I think you I, were attuned to each other's you're signals. You're absolutely right. Yeah. By the way, nice vest. I appreciate that. <laughs> Ask me what suit it goes to. <laughs> what suit does no it go idea, to? Kevin. You have no idea. No idea. <laughs> it was a costume from a, a show I did. Yeah, you just took it. I took it. You took it. I took it. I took it. I took it.